Can you matter this? Can you matter that? Not like this. I'm single. But if I suffer, get boyfriend for the very boy. You use Kayamata for my boyfriend? Mommy, there's Kayamata. There's acid. You didn't hear no? I just hear my tell you. Or oh, my advice you. I did go. I put them for boy, how far no? How will not they? How far will the Kayamata issue? They don't Kayamata is for this way. But let me tell you something. Just as Kayamata they exist, we don't forget the acid too, they exist. So if you snatch person the boyfriend with Kayamata, they go pour acid for your face. <laughs> Be very careful out there. Guys, this is Hot and Juicy Kames number one infotainment show with me, your girl, Miss Meg. Let's get it more serious. If you're ready, then let's get it started with the first segment of this program. Go nowhere. I'll be right back. 38 years old Boko God Jovi has been getting on my love's nerves lately. What's actually transpiring between the two rappers is still to be revealed. And I don't know if there's something we are missing. But let's get it straight here. We are not interested in knowing who started this beef. And come to think of it, what's with all this Tonkashe Se Combien online saga from this artist? And I've been wanting to ask you this. Does Jovi's status as Mboko God gives him the right to question other artists on how much they are being paid per show? Or better still, should show organizers now publicly review the exact amount they pay these artists for people like Jovi? Let's show that very fear we die here. After seriously insulting and dragging each other, Jovi had to draw this shit into my love's business. And this is what he said. I quote, You ungrateful, egoistic man. It's about building where any artist will come and eat. And it's not in your bar. Head full of shit. Sa Boko God. How did you skip from knowing how much my love's was paid for a show? Into his bar. To the extent of calling him names. Trust my love's now. When I say Jovi get more. My locks get more pass, and his clapback was extra hot and juicy. I mean, after calling Jovi a girl, he said, I quote, You are just a dreamer who keeps dreaming in the studio. Look at the baldness of your head and see that time flies. Ooh, I need some cold juice. I mean, this is hot. It is even hotter than some of the songs released this year in this industry. Must Jovi always use a beef to pass a message to his fellow colleagues? I mean, it wasn't totally wrong for Jovi trying to pull the attention of these artists on their paycheck. There are a million better ways to do that. And by the way, they are colleagues in the industry. They know themselves very well, judging from the way they are beefing each other. Punchline, up and down, left and right. They could see iron things eBay. What you think? At this point, I feel like asking myself, what happened to the tweet Jovi made years ago saying, I quote, Pour moi, la seule personne que je peux appeler King ici au bled, c'est Malox. How did Malox live from King to a head full of shit? No one had a rich Cameroon music industry own. I feel like asking you, since when did social media become a courtroom with fans as magistrates to judge every disagreement in the music industry? Since when? How did that even happen? Okay, honorable magistrate then. I leave up for now for comment section. Tell me who is wrong and who is right. But remember, now Jovi started this thing. Jovi started this. I got friends, I got fam, I got enemies. If you try to my cheek, you my friend and me. I don't stop, but I bet you I'm a finish. Désormais le ghetto a pris le contrôle. Les rats sont sortis de la brousse. First release gone wrong. The nurse management team fucks up big time. What kind of hasty press release was that? Guys, check out three controversies surrounding it. Controversy number one. The nurse team claimed he was not the one driving. But reports from fans who were at the scene say Teno was actually the one driving that car. Controversy number two. The press release insinuates Teno was seen off a fan. What kind of crazy cock and bull story is that? Seen off a fan at 4 a.m.? <sighs> okay, let's just pretend he was actually seen her off. The press release continues by saying that Teno's alleged driver ran away. Meanwhile, reports from fans who were on the scene said they were able to remove from the vehicle Teno, his alleged driver, and the lady. And according to them, the alleged driver had a broken rib. So how come someone who had a broken rib, unconscious, was able to run away? Come on. Come on, Tafis. Not from someone like you. 
Press releases are very sensitive issues and anyone going in for it should make sure they verify their sources very well. And by the way, wasn't it too early for the press release? It was done in less than 24 hours, especially from someone who calls himself the nurse manager. I was not even present at the scene. Guys, I'll leave it up to you in the comment section. The Noor is still yet to recover and there's a family still mourning the death of their daughter. And this is what crazy Stephen has to say. J'ai failli gronder ta fils parce que Dieu seul sait. À chaque fois que je rencontre ta fils, je dis toujours à ta fils, ta fils s'il te plaît, prends soin de ce garçon. Prends soin de ce garçon. Il ne peut pas dire le contraire. À chaque fois, même quand il me dit que Tenor est têtu, je lui dis non. C'est un enfant, il ne peut pas être têtu. Prends soin de lui. Is Tifa having mental issues? What's wrong with him? Why does he always find in every situation something to pull traffic on his various social media handles? I mean, are these the kind of questions he should be asking at this sensitive time where Tenor is still in a state of shock and a young girl dead? I mean, is it the appropriate time for him to be playing Inspector Gadget? Donc du coup, plein de questions me taraudent à l'esprit. À qui appartenait le véhicule? À qui appartenait le véhicule, première des, première des choses. Parce que je suis presque sûr, je n'ai pas demandé qu'il n'appartient pas à Ténor. Et s'il n'appartient pas à Ténor, pourquoi est-ce que la voiture s'est retrouvée entre les mains de Ténor? Avait-il un permis de conduire? Why link this accident to Ténor's glory? Vous croyez que Ténor est, est, est devenu Ténor parce qu'il a vendu quelqu'un? Vous croyez qu'il a vendu quelqu'un pour, pour faire d'où le dame qui a fait le buzz dans, dans, dans le monde entier? He says people are saying it's a human sacrifice. Don't you think bringing it up makes him one of those insinuating that Ténor sacrificed Erika? I mean, he's an influencer with so many people following him. Je vois les gens sur les réseaux sociaux parler de sacrifice humain. Peuple camerounais, arrêtons ça. Arrêtons de voir le surnaturel partout. Le problème est là. Sensibilisons. No jeune, sensibilisons nos petits frères. So Jovi Trouchet at Tizi Panchak's performances in the diaspora last year, calling them jangi shows, only for him to end up doing club performances as well. Yeah, mm. no one has a rich Camo music industry on. Regardez là-bas. I don't know, maybe we should start calling Jovi a Jangi artist too. I mean, I'll leave it up to you in the comment section. Is homosexuality gradually becoming legal in Cameroon? Does the US ambassador for Cameroon have something to do with Shakira's untimely release? It's not a secret that Christopher Lamora, who has been appointed US ambassador for Cameroon, is a homosexual. Guys, if you don't know, go and do your research. Many Cameroonians are linking his appointment to Shakira's release, saying that it would have been a contradiction for the government to keep a gay in prison. Meanwhile, they are having a homosexual as ambassador. Is the USA sending us a message? I mean, are they indirectly telling the government to review the famous Article 347 of the Penal Code which condemns homosexuality? Do you think the release of Shakira confirms that the government actually got this message? Remember Shakira was sentenced to five years imprisonment with a fine of 200,000 francs after being found guilty of homosexuality, but he made just three months in New Bell prison. But once U.S. President Joe Biden appointed Christophe Lamora as U.S. Ambassador for Cameroon, Shakira and his friend Patricia got released immediately. i leave it up to you in the comment section, guys. Do you see homosexuality becoming legal in Cameroon? Les choses are very few questions de temps. Guys, that's all we have for the first segment of this program. You can drop your opinion on every gist in the comment section. And if you're watching us for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and tap the notification button. It is time for us to get it more entertaining with the top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs on our playlist. Go nowhere. I'll be right back. Our number 10 video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist Hola Hero. The song is titled Abai. Watch and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Coming up at 
the ninth position is this beautiful song from Cameroonian artist Zival. The song is titled Validé. Video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian cultural artist Witty Minstrel. The song is titled One Africa. Popping up at the seventh position is this beautiful collab song from Cameroonian artist Wal Moore featuring serial its maker Kosi. The title of the song is Attention. Mama prayed for me, that's why I'm doing this. I know you put my eye for vanity and properties. I walk my ass, and that's why body my own message is 2020. They yet to blow up with a lot of air. Popping up at the sixth position is this beautiful song titled Putua from Cameroonian artist Shaw Tima. Our number fifth video of the week comes from Cameroonian artist Vizzy Vile. The song is titled Nina. Sexy Nina, call her African queen. Smooth skin, melanina. She find past Carolina. Sexy Nina. Coming up at the fourth position is this beautiful song from Bikusi artist Majua Aye. The song is titled Je ne sang pas. Je wonder sur le genre de relation qu'une fille ne sent pas. Femme zingi ni ni ale runu ni minanga. I told me sweat on you and don't give woman I tell within her zanga ki a femme te ni minanga ne te rebisi. Je wonder sur le genre de relation que mec ne sent pas. Minigi zingi ni ni a runu te la korasi. I think you want you want no one to end up or to tell with your more zama da ki a minigi te no femme ne te langa tangma. Another third video of the week comes from Cameroonian artist Gomez. With this beautiful smashing brand new song titled Sapology. The second position is this song from Cameroonian artist Dynasty Le Tigre. The song is titled Mbole Concas. J'étais assis chez moi là-bas dans mon quadra. Les petits du quadra sont arrivés comme des soldats. Il y avait le Ndembe et même du répondant. Et sans vous mentir, les petits y avaient la gnac. Ils tapaient, ils dansaient, oh, oh, oh. Ils chantaient, ils dansaient, oh, oh. Topping the first position of our playlist on this episode is this beautiful collab song from Cameroonian group Touch City featuring Joku Mike Monster. Mike Monster. Overdose, overdose. Success me I need overdose. If they walk they may they bring overdose. Money na they draw put it they overdose. Overdose, overdose. Success me I need overdose. If they walk they may they bring overdose. Money na they draw put it they overdose. Making it on our pick of the week this episode is Cameroon's former goalkeeper Carlos Kameni, who was involved in a car accident on the Bagante Road last Friday. Return got his save, but unfortunately, a pedestrian called Jiki Nicodem passed away. May his soul rest in peace. Unfortunately, this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of Kamez number one in Portainment Show Hot and Juicy. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you for all the reviews. I appreciate, guys. Thank you so very much. Don't forget to like, share, comment on any of the gifs I gave you this episode. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, please do follow us on our different social media handles. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, on Instagram. I'm very much active on our website. Site, it's 237 showbiz and make sure you follow our telegram group 237 showbiz and our new division 237 showbiz studios do have a great week